y'all doing? Today's video is all about that snatched look. When I'm scrolling on Instagram, I can't help but to stop and look at these Instagram baddie looks. For instance, like this one or like this one. And I fall instantly in love. And I know you guys will too, so stay tuned. Hit that like comment and subscribe to see more videos i'm gonna try to post every monday and thursday so yeah if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button because why not like and hit that like button because you want to because you're fam because you love me right maybe so the palette that i'm going to be using today is my beauty glaze palette and this is the color studio palette i really love this palette you guys i'm also going to be using these new lashes that i got off of amazon like look at these they are so cute right i can't wait to pop these guys on boy ain't gonna know how to act ain't gonna know how to act first i'm gonna start off with moisturizing my face so I'm going to use my Pons to moisturize my face. I really love this so much. And if you guys see me looking down, it's because I'm going to be looking in my mirror, which I have in my lap. And also, all my products are in my makeup bag. So I will definitely be, like, putting and looking for my products in that bag. I'm going to be using this Pore Minimizing Face Primer that I got. And it's by Ruby Kisses. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger and like rub it on my face. I'm just going to go in with one of my favorite foundations and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this on my channel so many times and I'm just going to take this beauty blender. Like, I tried to clean this. Let me know if you guys have this problem. Like. The top and the bottom just will not turn back orange. Oh, and this is in the shade 358, which is also called Latte. And what I've noticed is during the summer, or like the summer months, this is the color that I change to. Like when the year first starts off and winter hits, y'all think I'm a totally different person. Like totally different. So yeah, I'm just going around my face. So that's a tip for you guys. Do eyeshadow before you do your under eye concealer. Okay, so what I usually use for my eyebrows on like a day-to-day -day basis, like nothing special, is I use this LA Colors Brow Wowie Pencil. I just line my eyebrows and fill them in with this pencil so like how is everything going for you guys with quarantine like comment down below let me know because quarantine has been like super eye-opening for me I've had the opportunity to like you know actually sit down and chill for what seemed like it's been like so long since I actually have had the chance to just chill think about what I want to do like did you guys even see this coming like I was getting ready to go on spring break and next thing you know um hey everything's canceled like your job is canceled. Your life is canceled. So what are you going to do? Now that I've done my eyebrows, now I'm going to go in with my concealer. Which I use LA Girl Pro. You already know. And I use the color Almond or the color Fond. But I really like this Almond color. And take your time with this step. Because the last thing you want to do is like make your eyebrows magically disappear with concealer because I've done it a thousand times and there's nothing more irritating than having to go back again with the 
eyebrow pencil and fix it. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this darker concealer that I got. Um, this one is by Magic Cosmetics. Next, I'm going to take my eyeshadow primer. And I do not remember what brand this is, but I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it before. Like, my sister used this on me for prom my senior year, and I swear I had to go get some. My makeup lasted, like, all night, and the color was amazing. So I'm just going to add a little bit. And I'm going to blend that out with the brush again. Okay, so my camera shut off for no reason. But, as I was saying, I'm just going to blend this out. So, I was trying to figure out what colors to use for this look. But, right now, with me wearing this blue shirt, I thought I might give you guys a little blue. So, I'm going to start off with this dark blue shade right oh y'all bloopers wow that was horrible my bad <laughs> we're gonna start off with this blue color right here sorry these colors have no name but these pigments are worth it <laughs> a funny thing that I just thought about it I know my friend is gonna totally kill me because actually her shirt <laughs> but she never got to get it back from me because of quarantine I'm pretty sure she got something to mind too she'll figure it out like later because I stayed leaving stuff at her room her dorm room so I'm just gonna take my brush dip in that blue but look at the amount of pigment that is coming off of there like honey where 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 can you get this like let me tell you where you can get this. You can get this off of Amazon. Like, Beauty Glaze, if you want to sponsor me, let me know. Because, honey, I'm here for it. So, I'm just going to start pressing this down. And when I tell you, you want to be very careful. Because this is this could end very bad for you. So it's like, oh, there we go. It, it's ending bad for me. If y'all can see that, it's ending very bad for me. So as you guys can see, like... What's up? What's up, pigment? What's up, color? We could build this up some more, but I'm not going to. Or am I? I don't think so. Because I'm going to attempt, attempt to do a cut crease. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I feel like you got to have a certain superpower to be able to do a perfect cut crease. I'm not even going to lie. Like, so I'm loving the way this looks right now. Giving you guys sea vibes, the beach vibes, even though you're stuck in the house vibes, you know what I mean? Okay, oh my nose is terrible. I'm gonna have to re put foundation on my nose, you guys. I can feel it already. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on my nose, but it's blue. It's blue, it is blue, you guys. Like, you guys heard of Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. I'm officially blue nose, the blue nose reindeer. Like, you ain't heard of me yet. Anyway, <laughs> let me stop playing. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I get corny when I'm sleepy. Like, y'all just got to deal with it. And subscribe to me. Show me that y'all want more content like this. Okay, girl. Oh, wait. I'll give you a minute to subscribe. I'm gonna go in with a lighter blue color. Maybe a little bit of this purple. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with some of this purple right here. Or should I do purple on the lid? You know what I mean? Like, it's this nice violet purple right here. That's kind of that's kind of like on the blue spectrum of this palette, so it's kind of like, do I want to go there? Yeah, I want to go there. So that's the first one. I don't know how I'm going to recreate this on the other side, you guys. Please pray for me. If this makeup comes out bad, we'll just enjoy this as a fail. So what I'm going to do is use this light blue color right here on my eyelid. And now I'm just taking it upwards a little bit. Okay, so 
That's that one. You guys, I'm kind of scared to do my other eye. So, hmm. Okay, okay. They are dead. We're fine. We're fine. It's actually going well. For 2 o'clock in the morning, it's going well. Okay, so now. Starting to just put pigment on the other side. Okay, uh. Okay, uh, I didn't mess it up. Challenge accepted. Challenge passed. So next I'm going to go in with a pink. And for this one I'm going to be using the Secrets of Pharaoh Cleopatra Love Palette. And I got this from Beauty Master. I don't remember how much it was, but I am in love with this palette also. Okay, so in the inner corners is where I'm going to put this pink shade. I'm going to use this light pink goldish kind of shade right here. So that's that color. And then I do think I'm gonna go in with a purple shade. Just to like bring the whole look together. So that is that with the purple on it. Cute, right? And now I definitely know what I'm gonna do with the bottom. I'm gonna put like the purple underneath also. So I'm just gonna save that. Okay. So I'm just gonna save that. And I feel like once we pop the lashes on and we finish this whole face, you're gonna be able to tell me nothing. Like nothing. So now there's this shimmery blue color in this palette at the bottom right here. I don't think I'm just going to take that on this part because I don't want it to look too bland compared to the other parts of this look. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Okay. So that's it with the blue. And I'm going to go in with the color orange corrector. I'm just gonna one put it on my nose because I got that blue on my nose. I made this spot on my dead one eyebrow and I'm just gonna go under my eyes because I just want to color correct these areas. A stay at home makeup video. I'm gonna wipe all this off when I'm done anyway. So I'm not really that pressed about it. Okay, so now that I've went in with the red. Now I'm just going to go back in with my LA Girl Pro in the color Almond. And I'm just going to go. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my Black Opal Foundation Stick. In the darkest shade I think they have. I'm just gonna contour a little bit and all of that. So I like to use the True Complexion Contour Palette by Black Radiance. And I use the medium to dark. My skin tone is like so confusing to me and everyone around me, so yeah. So I'm just going to go in with the middle shade and this brush. I really love this brush because you can change the size of it, make it smaller, bigger. And I got this one from the Beauty Supply Store also. So I'm just going to like set around my face, like the parts that I really don't want to be that light. And this is where I was telling you guys that the powder comes in handy to even out your skin tone before you bake. Because you don't want it to get worse, you want it to get way better. Because I don't want to look like Snow White. You don't want to look like Snow White. You want to look like a black queen. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to do the other side the same way. And I have got to buy another one of these. I bought it at Walmart. So I'm going to need another one because I used the mess out of it. I loved it from the first day that I got it. I was like, yes. 
this is what I needed for my makeup to like really go to the next level. And I'm gonna leave the link below to some of these products just in case you guys want to pick them up from like Amazon while you guys are stuck at home. Or if you want to venture out, if you're brave, and go to Walmart, teach their own. Like, I am always outside, not to be, like, defiant or whatever, but I do DoorDash delivery for food and stuff for customers. So, that's what I do. And as you guys can see, it really evened out my skin tone. Like, it's flawless now. Okay, and we're just going to set our darker areas with the same sorry we're gonna set our darker areas with the same palette just the darker shade that's marked contour I'm just gonna go over our contour with this darker shade so now I'm just going back in with the same brush but with no product on it and I'm just gonna smooth everything out gonna buff it out, buff it out, buff it out, buff it out, eh. Buff it out, buff it out, buff it out, eh. Buff it out, buff it out, eh. Eh. I'm telling you, like, once you buff it out, like, you're in there. Okay? So no worries. So now I'm going to bake it. So to bake, and I do not bake for that long because I do not want to go backwards and go back to Snow White. So I'm going to use this air spun to bake and I just use the natural color I think this is. I don't use the translucent. Yeah, this is the naturally neutral shade and I got this from Walmart also. A lot of powder comes off this thing onto this brush you guys but it smells really good and I just got powder all over my mirror so that sucks okay so I go in with my beauty blender and I just take some of that powder and I set under my eyes Okay, so I set under my eyes and I set my nose area. And also the top of my forehead, right here. And also my lip area. So for my eyeliner, I like to just use this or a liquid eyeliner pencil but since my liquid eyeliner pencil ran out yesterday I'm just going to use this regular eyeliner pencil that's a retractable okay and there we go got our two eyeliner and now I'm going to go ahead and dust this off of my face because the eyeliner took way longer than I wanted it to and I don't want to be a ghost by the time I put on my lashes. So I'm just going to take that same color in the middle that I used the first time. Just take a little bit of that on my kabuki brush and I'm just going to dust off this setting powder. And now I'm going to go in with my eyelashes, which I've been waiting to use these eyelashes all day long since I got them. They just came in the mail today. It's not exactly perfect, but I feel like it won't be exactly perfect until I wear these like two more times because they have to get used to the curve of my eye, which sucks, really. Because if you literally want to go out with some new lashes, it's like going out with new shoes. You have to train them first or else 
gonna hurt the mess out of your feet and that's the way I feel like it is with eyelashes if you don't train them first you're gonna go out And then you want to take a little bit of mascara and just brush your actual eyelashes in with the falsies. To like connect the whole back together again. So, let me get a little bit closer for you guys. So yeah. So now we got like this really nice blue and purple and pink look. I'm really loving it right now. So first I'm going to go in with this brown lip pencil and I'm just going to line my lips. And now I'm going to go in with my butter gloss. And I'm just going to make my lips pop so now that I've done my lips I'm gonna go in and do my highlight and that'll be the end okay, so I'm gonna be using the LA colors illuminating skin enhancer this time for my highlight so I'm just gonna go up here on my cheeks because I want that like really highlighted look. And then I'm going to go right down my nose. I'm going to let them sit because I think it's because I'm tired. Mm -hmm.